Oh my god. The wires have all been jacked up. What? Dude, they've just been cut. Welcome to the video. Totally forgot to film an intro for this. Uh, but in this video, we work on a 13 ton package unit. We're doing a bunch of repairs. We're doing a CSI. We're doing some air filters. We're doing some relays. And actually, we're doing a repair on a condenser fan motor. But we don't know yet. So enjoy the video. done with that now we're going to move on to the inverter and the relays so there's a lot of parameters that we have to write down from the old inverter so that we can transfer it to the new one so gamma's going to write down everything we're going to go through everything and then program the new one we have all these to go through yeah, so all these things mean different things. So like number one is the maximum frequency mm -hmm. um, because a lot of it we need to double check what the motor says, mm -hmm. but here it's 60 Hertz is as max as you want for the most part. Yeah. But like number two is the minimum frequency. So no matter what happens, this is not gonna spin lower than 20 Hertz. So we got down all the parameters that we actually need. Now we're gonna take the old inverter out, put the new one in. Got our new CSI hooked up and connected. Now we're going to turn it on, put all the parameters in, and get the unit started. Okay, what's the next one? 67. Four. You just kind of just, you got over. 
Alright, well now, because we did the relay and the capacitor for condenser fan one, we gotta make sure that works. Service test. Do blower fans. Fan one. Why is it not on? Oh, turns out one of our fan motors wasn't plugged. That's why it wasn't on. Oh. Kind of makes sense. Oh my god. What? The wires have all been jacked up. What? Dude, they've just been cut. Yeah, see that one hanging back there? Yeah. Like, look down. They've also been cut up there. Uh. One, two, three. Just a couple, just in case you miss them. test make sure everything is great before we head out all the compressors are on now we're gonna check the circuit fan so if you look in this clip you see that condenser fan motor that we just repaired uh, did not kick on and it was receiving a constant leak of power but it wasn't running properly. So after some troubleshooting, uh, we found out that there probably was internal damage in the motor windings, and that caused the motor to back feed and spin slightly, even though it wasn't functioning normally. So in short, we did have an internal short in the motor, so we had to replace it to restore that proper operation. Okay, just hold it like that. Sorry. You're good. Okay. There we go. That is the easiest I've ever had one of those come off. I work. Up and out. Mm. Okay, let's go. So I went to pick up this new fan motor and it started raining. So it's gonna be a fun experience. Do this wet. All clear. Yeah. She's a spinning. That's light work on a fan motor in the rain. And of course, right as we're leaving, the sun starts coming out. Anyways, still a beautiful day. Shut up, I'm not talking to you. <laughs>